It's where the big stories live and we've got nothing but the biggest entertainment stories coming up next on Tea Time. Hello there and welcome to the program. I am Takumbo Tairo and here with me are my co-anchors, Yemi Abayomi, whose avid, whose avid interest in showbiz has earned her the title Pop Culture Expert. Hello there, Yemi. Hi. We've also got Lape Banjo, whose interest in entertainment news is just as infectious as her conversations on the subject. Hello there, Lape. Hi, Hi. And finally, we've got Ife Oshinkaye, who is such an entertainment news devotee. He lives and breathes it. What's up, Ife? Good. What's up from you? <laughs> <laughs> Our first story is on American rapper Kendrick Lamar and his onstage outrage at the Hangout Music Festival, which held at the Gulf Shores in Alabama. This is, um, I don't even know where to start because we've heard different things concerning this story. You know, um, that he kicked her, he didn't kick her, kicked you know. Her. He like, kicked, kicked her off. Kicked her, her, off, kicked her off the stage. You say, like, in the stomach. Like, he just, like, pounded his foot through. Because that's what some people have said. So I'm like, let's get clarification. So, Yemi, what really happened? <laughs> well, as a pop culture expert, I've, of course, seen the video. <laughs> no, but um, basically what happened is that a lot of rappers do this thing where they invite a, a fan on stage to, like, rap the song. Mm -hmm. It's very popular so he invited a fan on stage to write the songs i believe he clarified in the rules that you're supposed to bleep and he did his uh, uh mad city is mm -hmm. one of his bigger songs which is famously known for having the n-word in it, in it a lot uh she went to do the song she did not bleep out like she was supposed to right he stopped her he asked the crowd if she should uh get kicked off the stage a lot of people were bullying and telling her and kick, saying that he should kick her off but he didn't. He was gracious and gave her another chance. And she was like so muddled by like trying to bleep out that she couldn't get the song out. Mm -hmm. So he just like stopped her and was like, okay, yeah, okay, your turn's over. And then she got off stage. He didn't like kick her off stage. He didn't disrespect her. He didn't mm -hmm. yell at her right. or anything. Okay. He was just like, he's like, okay, no, don't say it. And okay. then once she couldn't get the words out, mm -hmm. he was like, all right, you're done. Right. So, um, Lakwe, there's been a lot of, um, regarding this particular incident, there's been sort of outrage, people reacting online, you know, that she used the N-word, you know, blah, 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 and that white people shouldn't be using the N-word, you know, even though we're in the 21st century. What's your take regarding white folks using the N-word? Well, in my opinion, I feel no one should be using the N-word anyway because mm -hmm. it's a derogatory term. Right. Um, even though music and hip-hop glorifies it a lot, we end up saying it a lot more than we need to and should do. Um, so for a conscious rapper like Kendrick Lamar, I'm really shocked that he thinks mm -hmm. it's okay to get the opinion of the crowd. He should mm -hmm. know that... Regardless, that shouldn't be in his song in the first place. I don't expect that from Kendrick Lamar. I expect sure. that from a different sure. kind of rapper. So yeah. some people are saying that the artist, based on what you've said, some people are now saying that the artist then should be responsible, should take some of the blame. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you agree then? Absolutely. Absolutely. No, because sure. he laid out the rules before. Okay, but he's a conscious rapper. Don't go mm -hmm. on about black power <laughs> and talk about all these so great things about black people and then have a song, you know, d like dedicated to... Like, I mean, oh, you just said it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear from you, Fair. <laughs> if there was your take, then. The truth is, we are the reasons why we will keep being called the N word. Mm -hmm. Because if we keep putting it in our song, okay, Whoopi Goldberg went on social media to backlash Kendrick. Like, why would you do that? Mm -hmm. Because why would you have the N word in your song if you don't want it to be sang along or mm -hmm. repeated? Yeah, but it's understandable Jesus. because no. this is like a constant. Where you put the song out in the first place. This is like wait, relax. This is like a constant reminder yeah. of slavery More being that. called the mm -hmm. N word. The N word. Okay. So if a white person is saying it, it's it's not okay for we black people to say it to each Refer other. To our yeah. Yeah. You get. Yeah. I will find it very demeaning. I'm, right. I'm guilty of you, it too. You know what? No problem. Yeah. I really want to hear where you know Yemi's, Yemi's coming, coming from because from. I think she sure. doesn't in any way shape. Her body language is just telling me she doesn't agree with you. So go How on. How dare you yawn? Listen, what's what's your honestly, issue on the on, okay, with this? So don't get me wrong. Like in a perfect justified society, no one would say the word. We would all just bury that word dead and gone. But let's be real, we're not in a perfect justified society. You cannot now get upset because a white girl said it on stage after he clarified that she shouldn't have said it before she even started. You can't now get upset that the, so the, the word is in the song anyways. You can't act like you, I'm people, so sorry, people, yeah, no, 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 my thing is like, no, no, my thing is that everyone, okay, so, okay, in a perfect, we shouldn't say the N word. Okay, fine. 
people do say the N word mm -hmm. and people put it in their music mm -hmm. and people will people, the same people, okay but the, no, people but the same it. people who are complaining now are some of the same people who sang that song like when it was on the radio and, and bopped them to it saying the N word as with it. Mm -hmm. So you now no, have no, no, a problem. You know it's a different, different case. No, no, no. There's a if a white girl says the N word okay, I, in, but, the, in the comfort of a bedroom listening to that song. No, 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 no. What you're saying is that no one should say it. That's your argument. No one should say it. It's not white or black. It's definitely white or black. I don't think white people should say it. No, at but all. the justified but situation I, that you're referring to is a situation because you can use that to justify everything. We can say, well, we're not in a perfect justified situation. So mm -hmm. white no. cops kill black people. Okay, I, I no, saw no, a no. comparison That's, to something. They said, right. it, 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 it feels very disrespectful no. when a guy calls a woman the B word. Yes, but, but you'll find when women you'll call find the bees themselves calling the themselves bee. bees. And they accept it. It's actually acceptable. So what do you have to say that? What do you have to say with that to that, Yemi? Listen. Because listen, that's I, a good point. I, I mean, Ooh. but like you, you, I, I'm not going to sit here and be and act like I'm holier than thou, and I don't say the B word and I don't say the N word. Yeah, but it's always in jest. And it's it's, it's in always jest. in jest. That's fine. And just but, when a man says it, it's different because mm -hmm. there's, there's, yeah, because you feel it's okay, yeah, I'm but that's trying that's to understand you, no, no, where Yemi is coming from. But Wait. you just made the comparison of mm -hmm. the, a B when a guy says it. It's it's not. It, it's in jest. It's like. But that's you're making the comparison of like if a black person says it to another black person, mm -hmm. you're making that comparison. So that's what you, the comparison. You yeah, just but that made. was what I was trying to say earlier when everyone was talking that there's a distinction. The perfect justification that you're talking about is the fact that currently black people say it to each other, right, and it makes it okay. However, if a white person has curated this word and has used it in a derogatory term for centuries and centuries, that doesn't mean because it's okay for black people to say it to each other, you can now say it. I don't think that white people should say it at all. I don't think that Kendrick should be punished because he put it in his song and now everyone is upset that she said it. That's no, not why he's been punished. The reason why he's punished because he said it. And that just to all. conclude on this, the okay. reason why yeah. Kendrick is being punished is because Kendrick's style of rapping is conscious. He's sure. always going on about black power, black excellence. He's been given the key to Compton, wherever mm -hmm. he comes from, okay. for goodness sake. You never find and common. Exactly. So and my point, my point that I'm trying to make is that I don't expect somebody that raps in that style to glorify mm -hmm. the derogatory term of right. black people, which is what he champions. Mm -hmm. Now, for you to then have a song that's filled with that and then bring someone of the opposite race on stage and then give the audience a chance to decide whether or not he should know he has the duty of care. Yeah, that's he should the bottom better. line. I, All right, I wish yeah, we could I go on, but for time good. reasons, uh, we're going to move on. So it's a time for uh, a quick break. Uh, when we return, we'll be telling you why Diamond Platinums and Bob Risky are making the headlines. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, you're watching Tea Time, and our next story is on Diamond Platinums. The Tanzanian artist has hinted at retirement. I was a bit wonder, you know, bewildered about this because I, I looked at his age and I thought... Right. Sorry? Diamond Platinum. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. Good heavens. Diamond Platinum. Oh, anyway, as, as, as I was saying, um, I just looked up his age and he was, I saw he was 28 and he's hinting at retirement already. And I was like, what on earth is going on? So About time, you know, mm -hmm. getting up there. Yeah, yeah. but so, so did David yeah. Owen, huh? Sorry? So David o hinted at retirement the other day. He's 25. Yes, so I'm like, what's going on? It's, it's, well, I know. think they just feel the fame brings a lot of scandal to them. Like I mean, Diamond said, it was just stacking up money mm -hmm. to go in, to build up his business empire because he has a couple of businesses. Because he owns a fragrance say, line. Yeah, he owns a fragrance line. So he everyone. owns a record label. So He's, uh, he has like a staff of about 50 people, created jobs for about 50 people. But guess what? He, he has a peanut he producing he would, company. He would never have been able to do that without Yeah, that was fame. what he said. He said he went into music in the so first that, that place to get money. crying about fame now when you've used it. Yeah, when your, you've used it to your own advantage. advantage. I'm no, sure that was, he slaved he, he for that. He said that fame. as well. He said yeah. that let us use the opportunities we have while we can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe he feels when he gets older, he might not have the connect. So or bas basically, from the get go, anymore. he never wanted, he just used music to get to his business. Well, is that, according is that... to what he said, but he's a very yeah. talented story. Artist. He needed a bit, he's just like yeah. the, everyone's sob story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He needed a bit of money, mm -hmm. decided that he was going to go into music. music. Luckily, he blew. He used that money and was very clever enough to reinvest it into and peanuts, has... fragrance, and whatever. And he's made a, sell, um, a killing of it because of his name. Now, now, the real issue as to why he wants to retire is because he's sleazy and everybody knows what he's getting up to. Yeah, he's going up and down, having sex tapes left, right, centre, and he's getting women pregnant, he's getting into marriages, true. breaking up, and everybody knows. And he's probably the only, like, 
globally recognized um, Tanzanian singer yeah. out of Tanzania. So he's like what the Beyonce or Jay Z of Tanzania, Africa to me. Eastern Africa, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So clearly, everyone knows his business. He doesn't really have a good personal image, right? So now he wants to kind of come off the radar. Then just say that. Yeah. Because don't come and say, oh yeah. But the well, thing is, you do you think he needs to actually come out to say this? Because I would have thought if that's what you want him to just do, just go off the radar. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Well, he, well, he didn't come out to say this. It was having. Dina, like, you know, it's the fasting mm. period for Muslims. And, and you were there, right? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I, I'm always everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, yeah. on that note, uh, the next main headline <laughs> is that popular Nigerian transgender Bob Brisky uh, he's set to start, start a breast growing procedure. So, um, Bob Wait, Risky. I love him. Can I just put it out breast? there? I absolutely love I want to know, breast love growing or breast implant? Whatever. He's getting breast. boobs, right? He said he's going <laughs> that's to be the end point. That's, that's exactly. the point. He's but going to be using pills and exercise. He's already been using pills. Listen, I follow his life. Yeah. Every second of the day. He needs a reality program. You're a major fan, aren't I'm you? I'm a fan. He's yeah, absolutely sensational. Like, yeah. First of all, he is completely shattering the whole glass for LGBT the in ceiling, Nigeria. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. The ceiling, rather, for um, LGBT people in Nigeria. Now, what everyone needs to be clear is that I don't personally believe he's identifying as a gay man. He's identifying as a transgender, transgender. Mm -hmm. straight mm -hmm. person. Let's be clear, because gender and sexuality are two different things, right? right. Now, he's really cool because he puts it out there. He doesn't care what anyone thinks. And I love people that don't care about what anyone thinks, right? Mm -hmm. He's been doing this um, body kind of, he was, was transitioning, transitioning for a while. It costs a lot of money. We're not all living in America. We can just go to Dr. 90210 and get it done, right? Wait, so, that's not how it works in America. I'm, I'm just saying. Not at all. I'm just saying. There's thousands, millions, there are millions of Yeah, but it's quicker. They do you have even doctors that can it. go there that can tell you what the process he is. He may have sponsors. Do you think if Bobby okay, yeah. goes to a Nigerian no, 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 doctor, no, no. they're going to even entertain that conversation? That. But you, uh, the way you said it, it sounds just like saying. everyone's just changing no, genders I'm saying in America. <laughs> well, I mean, well, 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 it's debatable. Okay. But anyway, can he even <laughs> the point I'm trying to he can't, listen, he's got a lot of money. He can't afford it. He lies a lot. Yeah, but he, I've done the maths. He makes money right now. So he basically has already started having his ass done already. He snapchats the pills that he takes. Okay. Um, and I've seen, well, everyone that follows him has seen his um, behind grow. Yeah, the booty is very, the very nice. Part. Yeah, it is. It's got, you've always got to get the hmm. booty done first. Okay. Then he's also started wearing a lot more female wears, um, mm -hmm. um, a lot of like female underwear. So it was very obvious that the next thing he was going to do was get his boobs done. He's doing what he has to do, do you know what I mean? And he's getting the yeah. attention he wants, yeah, and he's true. doing it in every true. means right. possible. So. Okay, Yemi, let me ask you what you think. Do you I, Actually, let me ask you, do you think he's going to go all the way like, you know, uh, 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 Caitlyn Jenner? Oh, yeah, I can't wait. I'm, I love it. I'm loving it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Ba -ba -ba -ba, I'm, I'm loving, loving it. it. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Ife, what's your take on this whole issue? Well, I don't have a problem with Bob Risky because um, whatever you do is what doing well. Mm -hmm. Even though what he's doing, I'm not in support. Okay. But I also respect his also because he's making a lot of money from that. Mm -hmm. He's getting a lot of fame and he's encouraging more transgender people to, to sort to of come, come out, out in Nigeria so that we can put them in jail for 14 years. You come out. But I don't have nothing like against them. This so is why people, this is, no, no, this no, 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 don't get... This is why transgender people will no. not come out because people like you will say... No, no, no I don't, like I said, yes. I do not have anything against them. You but sound like against you, the you do, you do. No, I don't know where you're coming from. You're coming from America where it's allowed. You're coming from London where it's allowed. You're not going to do that. In Nigeria, it is not allowed. It is against the law. And I am a law-abiding citizen. You know what? It is against no, the law, and I no. am a law-abiding citizen. Listen, you know what you're saying is actually issue. contradictory no, because you're saying contradictory. I don't have anything against. That's like you literally said. I don't have, I don't anything, have anything against him. Exactly. But, but he should be but in jail, for, be in jail for 14 years. So that's yes, contradictory. If, if it is not legal, FYI. where would you, you end up? FYI, in jail. Yeah. FYI. If I drive listen. my car now. Mm -hmm. And I hit somebody. Are you comparing and someone dies. being born in the what, wrong sex and being up? in a car crash? Well, you in know jail, what? right? But, but you're born like this. I have you to correct that. you. No, no, I no, have to correct something here because nice. you know what? He's talking about being a transgender. He hasn't said anything sexual, has he? Exactly. So this, your, your so 14 years doesn't, it doesn't equate apply to, him. to him. Exactly. I, All I know, know is I had 14 no, years. I said okay, he's encouraging other others. people. I, did, okay. I never said Bobrisky was gay. So people okay. like and him. I said, be, no, relax. I said jailed. he's encouraging. No, when you say 14 years, the implication other, is clear. Go on. I said he's encouraging other people 
to come out. Like and him. if they are not doing it the legal way. What's the legal, What's the legal way? way? It's against if, the law. <laughs> it's against What's the legal way? They should go to America and leave. By yeah. the way, you know what, guys? Uh, you know what, guys? Hold those thoughts. Hold Power those you. thoughts. You <laughs> <your> <laughs> <day>. <laughs> we need to hold those thoughts. Still <laughs> to come on Tea Time, our social media analyst gives us an update and we're bringing details regarding the good deed of a Mutala Muhammad International Airport cleaner. That's all coming up right after this break. Welcome back to Tea Time, the program that gets you updated on entertainment news. Before we delve into our next story, let's go to our newsroom for a quick update from our social media analyst, Buki November. Buki, over to you. Hi, Tokumbo, and Yemi, and Ife, and Lakwe. <laughs> so when I first saw this story on the internet, I told myself, I said, Buki, Kendrick Lumar has finally ended his career as far as white people go. He cannot come back from this. And then I said, you know what? Before you kill him, go on social media and see what people are saying, so that you know how to phrase your own tweet you get. And then I went on social media and I saw the comments, and the comments were, ah, the comments were so angry, like they were comments coming out of a place of anger, just pointing it out there. Before I go further, I'd like you to also see the comments, so that we can judge this issue together. So let me show you some of the comments I saw on social media. I told myself, I said, Buki, go watch the video. I mean, there has to be something they're referencing, right? So I saw the video, and I kind of simmered down a bit. Because from what I saw, the comments just didn't all, you know, tally. For people who say that Kendrick Lamar humiliated the white girl, oh, white girl, yeah, the white girl, and, you know, booed her off stage, you were wrong. He didn't. He didn't humiliate her. He even supported her. Watch the video. He did. He even let her stay there. He actually, she even apologized. He even let her stay there and, you know, explain herself. She apologized. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he gave her a chance against the crowd. The crowd didn't even want her to continue. He told them to, you know, wait. And he had her say it all over again. So he supported her. For those who say Kendrick Lamar um, put the N-word in his songs and then now is complaining that people are actually saying the N-word when they sing it on stage, I totally support you guys. I mean, you put the N-word in your song, what do you expect people would sing when they're singing at home? You think they would, every white person would go, um, bleep, bleep, and then continue? Please, they sing it already. So if you do not want them to sing the N-word, do not put it in your song. That's where I stand, that's what I say about this case. And that's all from social media. Back to you, Tokumbo. <laughs> Thanks for that update, Buki. It was definitely quite interesting. Our next story is on a cleaner by the name of Charity Bassi, who works at the Murtala Muhammad International Airport, and how she found a bag containing bundles of money and turned it in. I thought that was noble. Very nice. Eh? Yes, lots of people always do it, yeah? I just don't understand why people keep leaving money in the toilet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I thought... Because this is like the third dodgy. time it's happened. It's always the cleaner that yeah, finds it as well. Murita Lamwane is not million. an airline. Yeah, there's, there's been more than that that's found before. It was what? She found 12... Uh, yeah. uh, her name was Josephine. She found 12 million yeah. back in 2015. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Why are you people leaving all of your money everywhere? In the toilet. If you don't want it, come. I'll give you my address. Come give it to me. Do you it's fine. Think that there's something sinister going on here. No, I think you're taking your reach in, Tokes. It's yeah. always nothing sinister going sinister. on. There's nothing you're sinister. What kind of, like, Disney villain are you? Yeah. Like, <laughs> hmm. No, but seriously. <laughs> I mean, if he takes me... Maybe it's a oh. test, right? Maybe they're testing their staff. For what, the CIA? That could be true. <laughs> that could be true. Like, test oh. to see how... Oh, so you think it's a setup? I mean, they are. But, okay. then, but they're also giving, like, salary increases to the people who find it. So maybe it's an incentive like, to like not yeah. steal as well. So that Are you it, sure they give them salary increase? Because well, yeah. apparently they don't take any proportion this of the money. This bossy account. lady claims that she did not get a dime after she returned. They don't How much did she find exactly? $6,000. 6000 US dollars. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just happened. So maybe her money's coming in the mail. 
<laughs> How could you have so much money? You leave six thousand in, in 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 the gents. It depends on this who is it Nigeria. is. Nigeria people have a lot of money. People have problems. <laughs> and apart, aside that, people, people have problems, man. I could be carried away in thinking about my issues and forget yeah, six thousand so dollars. So she, you can forget what, what would we say about this lady then? Is it integrity that made her turn it in? Yeah. Nah. Yes, yeah, so it has. You to don't be think so? I would like to hear what Lakwe has to say. What, what, what's your theory then? She's giving it back. Maybe it is integrity. She might be a Christian or. She, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, Christian. Yeah. Or, yeah, because you know everyone. Oh, I'm a Christian. But yeah, she's probably, she's Churches probably, everywhere. Yeah, she's probably doing it because she's a Christian, like I said. Or she's probably doing it because there's a work incentive because, like I said, it's not the first time it's happened. However, the first person that gave back the larger sum of money, uh -huh. I think, is the noble person because right. they now set a the precedent. Place. And they yeah. also, the, the same for the first person who did it, she also found, like, Two luggages at two separate times, mm -hmm. full with like with a lot of money in it. Yeah, and she could have taken that, but she always she returns it. Return it that as well. Josephine, she's the real hero here. Okay. Yeah. If I let me ask you, because I'm going to pose this to Terrible. all of you anyway. You know, what yeah, would you yeah. do if you found six thousand US oh, dollars? Oh come on! I'll give. I'll call the police. Call EFCC. Call all the you law see enforcement him agencies. With you what do you exactly? I'll see you. Lies and tell. And return the money. Lies, what do you lies, lies, lies. Tell. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with them and say better. the lies you tell. <laughs> really, I would return the money. I'm a very noble man. Okay, like me, what would you do though? No comment. Honestly speaking, no comment. I don't want to say something that's gonna incriminate me later. Mm -hmm. I'm joking. I don't know. It depends how much I find, and it depends. Like Are you saying six thousand would be too minimal for you yeah, then? Yeah, that's not. Uh, yeah, yeah. sixty not, million more like it. Sixty like million dollars. Why is it? Why are you charging sixty million dollars? I definitely won't give, that back. <laughs> won't give, give that back. Sixty million dollars. Would you give that back? Six, 60 million? No, I'm off is on the traceable? next flight. Wait, wait, wait. Is it in dollars? Because is it traceable? Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Wait, you have yeah. the, in, or the security codes? No, let's get, back, they, to the, let's get back to the story. 6,000 US dollars. Would 6, you take 000. that? Okay, but you have to check the serial numbers to make sure they're not sequential. Sequential. Because they stole it from a bank, and then that'll get you traced back. Mm -hmm. So if it's not, then if it is, then I'll give it back, of course, because it's a trap. But if it's not, then I'll take it. All right, then. You would actually take it. Okay, yeah, our absolutely. final story. I guess I'm the only noble one in this building, right? <laughs> you <laughs> You're not noble, you lie. At least I didn't lie about taking Exactly. Let's be serious. All right, I didn't then. lie. Our final story on today's episode of Tea Time is that a British woman named Claire Oliver has sold her free royal wedding gift bag on eBay for just under thirty thousand US dollars. So, first of all, question: yeah. I want to know who bought it. <laughs> <laughs> who, like a gift who, like you know what? Actually, question. there's yeah. been so many of so many people sold there. I, yeah. In fact, I wanted to talk about this because it okay. started from like four hundred and fifty dollars, yes. wasn't it? Uh, that people have been selling it for. So people were ever selling for as low as two hundred and seventy-five pounds. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and then she got it. exactly. And then she got an offer for twenty-one thousand four hundred pounds. Pounds. She took down a Twitter account. You, uh -huh. you guys can't trace me. She <laughs> just went away with the money, like. <laughs> Wait, Thank you I'm, very yeah. much. What was in the bag? Exactly. Look, you All can right, see the picture. Right here. Uh, What's in the bag? They had, chocolate, they had a, a magnetic chocolate fridge. water. They had a, a magnetic mug. fridge pane, um, a water bottle, mm -hmm. a branded water bottle water. Yeah. Uh, they had a, a mug, parking bottle, ticket. Bottle, bottle, then yeah. they had a coupon with twenty percent discount at the shop for the royal. What's it called? The, the royal shop? shopping. Shop. Blah blah blah. It's an online shop for the royals and. They are 20 percent off discount for right. them. So if we look at this and in the grand scheme of things, right? Yeah. That's it's a not worth it. No, no, no. It's not worth it, obviously. But the reason why people are buying this, I've just had a thought, yeah. is because you know what I thought of? Ten years down, down the, line, the line, it's going to be an antique, and that's oh. going to be worth. Let so me tell you what I thought. And then, and then, hang yeah. on, I'm going to just finish my point. And then, if you look at it globally as well, like in the grand scheme of things, right? This souvenir thing that they've got is like a typical. Like, if you go to a Nigerian wedding, mm -hmm. you come back with an mm -hmm. umbrella, you come back with oil, you well, come back with all sorts, right? iPhone X. Depends, <laughs> yeah, or depending on how, how they rich do laundry are. baskets now. Is that? Oh, yeah, yeah laundry like baskets. Laundry but the point is, no one's going to go and reset Please don't it. Dangote's daughter got married invite the other day. Invite me for mm -hmm. iPhone X weddings. No, but Dangote's daughter got married the other day. No one resold anything that anything. they got given. Um, the uh, former president, Jonathan's daughter, they gave out, um, what's it called? I Gold-plated iPhones, iPhones, by the way. Yeah, true. My point that I'm trying to make is, this is the royal family, right? And they gave out, what, water, chocolate, mugs, yeah. not iPhones. Shortbread. Not, not shortbread, flipping yeah. um, gold-plated <laughs> like, iPhones. Shortbread. The shortbread was the sad part, like, what for? Exactly, but the point is, no one, they resold it and made, what, quadruple or, mm -hmm. like, 
Even more so than do that, you the think money. the person that bought it then is investing for the future? Yes, probably But do you know why this is so or funny on eBay? Do you know why this is so funny on eBay? Some people are taking out stuff, like some people are taking out the coupon <laughs> and taking out the package <laughs> and, the and selling yes. it. You know, like, so right now, what are we the doing? The water's going to be like open and half drinking. But like, the <laughs> thing actually, one of the things that I found surprising is that after this person got their own um, share on, on eBay, I actually went online to have a look and someone, at the moment, their wedding gift is 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 being uh, the bid at the moment sixty five thousand pounds. pounds. Apparently, it's going to get on to seventy thousand. So I thought that is just, just outrageous. Know what kind of crack these people are smoking. Like, cause I let me know so I can know. Like, no, but this is common though. Two pops. But do you like, know what Jersey, I of honestly? Like, this is so Nigerian. This is a gift bag. What I'm about to say is it's so water. Nigerian that you can't even. You wait. know what I thought of? I you was know. like, the guy whoever bought this now eh, must be a fraud boy. Why? Because the signature of Megan and, and what Harry. they call Harry mm -hmm. is on the welcome letter. Yeah. So I'm like, are they trying to forge signatures now? Or to resell what? it. Yeah, like, I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. to hack into their bank account or so. I don't, mm. Am I sounding typical? Yeah, that sounds yeah. Crazy. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Like Just finally, good. anyone want <laughs> final words on this? No, I need to uh, reevaluate my life and yeah. see what I can sell. Well, so my last word, it. please. I can the next royal wedding invites me, please. You know I need to, be? I need to be sell years. stuff yeah. on yeah. eBay. Yeah, me. Your last words. I know how to forge Michael Jordan's signature, so now I know I'm gonna be in business. Oh. You just sign all the trainers. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Tea Time. Join us tomorrow for another jolly good episode of the program. But before we go, a big thank you to my co-anchors. Thank you very much indeed. And a big thank you to my entire production team as well. Until next time, I'm Takumbo Taiwo saying goodbye and thanks for watching.